Okay, welcome back everybody. So this video is going to be an overview of the new Captivate 12. It's dramatically different than the, any other previous Captivate version in both user interface as well as um, the flow of the content creation process itself. So get ready for something new. I'm using the Windows version, but I believe the Mac version is very much the same thing. So first of all, let's just look at the home screen right here. Um, I'm only going to show you what each of the columns does. And then in separate videos, I'll go through each one and actually each object on each column and the separate video because there's some cool stuff in here. But let's start out. There's five columns Okay, to make sure you understand what I'm talking about here. Column one right here, column two, column three, column four, and way over here, column five. Okay, so let's look at what each one does right now. So on the left-hand side over here, this is your content creation column. So way up here at the top, this is for adding a slide. This is where everything starts up here. Everything is template-based. Okay, so you're gonna choose your slide template, either content or a question slide, and we'll talk more about that in another video. But that is for creating your slide. Once you have a slide created for adding content to a slide, you have a variety of objects. Uh, you have text blocks, Okay, a couple choices there. Again, all templates. You have your media blocks, different templates you can use as well. You have your um, interactive component blocks, very similar to the quizzes we saw before. Okay, um, and then your widgets. And this is really the cool gold of this program. And so I'm gonna do a separate video on each one of these. You're gonna wanna watch that because this is where the, where the good stuff happens, definitely. And then finally over here on the left hand, on the left hand side, the bottom is your capture tool for, for doing like a simulation or a demonstration or something like that, like a walkthrough for a solution or something like that. So next column two is just your list of slides that you've added to a project. Okay, and um, the middle column is whatever slide you've clicked on, that content shows up here in the middle column. And then when you're editing that content, whatever you're clicking on here is gonna have an attribute and properties um, uh, collection of options and objects in the fourth column over here. So it really does change dramatically. So that's where you're gonna have your creativity and your customization for pretty much everything. And then way over here in the fifth column is a series of things. You have your interactions, which lets you add interactivity to any kind of object on the entire uh, page. You have your animations, a lot like the PowerPoint um, entrance and exit and emphasis, I think they're called animations. And then you have your audio, which is your background or like individual object audio. And then you have your, accelera uh, your accessibility, sorry, either for a page and or individual objects. And then way down here in the bottom right hand corner, you have the table of contents, okay? And so that is the main user interface for this program. Look for individual videos next. I'll see you in another video.